All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. As you can see, I am coming at you from yet another thrift store. We are at the Salvation Army today. Um, this is, I would say, one of the best thrift stores in the area. Um, very organized, usually. And I uh, found some good deals here just like everywhere else. So let's head on in. It is Friday for me, which means it's probably going to be pretty busy because they tend... Well, they don't tend. Every Friday they have um, whatever whatever color has been on sale that week. They do close five for five. So a dollar an item if it's the right color. But usually I don't look for clothes. However, we are still going to look around and see what we can find. Let's head in. White tags are on sale today. Starting out with a glimpse of the holiday aisles here. And it backs up to the basket wall. Always love a good basket. These ones I thought were kind of cute. This one was the chicken one for $3. And then this painted duck one was four, but half off. So $2. This was adorable. Birthday trinket tray. I always see a lot of you guys in my comments talking about Corel dishes. This was a set of 15 for $16.99. Some more plates and stuff along those lines chickens. This little croc. It was cute, but it was quite dirty, obviously, and I, I just didn't need it. Oh, I guess this is our sideways clip of the video, but it was a friendship or friends and family plate I thought was cute. And you know how I love canisters. This one was very dainty and sweet. Didn't need that, though. However, um... This canister I did need. <laughs> it had a little pig family on it. And it was really it had a really good seal. $2.99. Going in the cart. I always love these. Florence. I bet she made some tasty stuff. Little rooster, vintage fish, sunflower. Cute. I loved this too. I'm a sucker for things that have food on them. Just different pastas. I thought this was cute also. It was a cat dish um, with different colored cats on it. It was quite deep though. And look at grandma's cookie jar. It looks like it got a lot of wear. Cute little vase thing. <laughs> Here is the flower pot and similar items aisle. Always find some good things there. This one just kind of caught my eye there at the end. Little summer vibe. Tons of vases if you ever need any sort of vase of shape, size, anything. These dishes with the vegetables always catch my eye also, but very dirty and I didn't need it. That was cute. I considered bringing it home as like um, a basin to put a plant in, but not for $6. And this section had some fun stuff. They had the sushi book right there, this little burger press, and then um, this brand new can crusher. If I didn't live in Michigan, I would get that. These I thought were cute. I didn't love them, but they're cheap, so they stayed in my cart. Now this little stash of like ceramic cats, I really did like. cute. I didn't want to have to split the gang up, but in the end I did. More cat, a little trinket box. And then this was cute, I thought, um, because it's a little sheep and it says goodnight in French. And a little miniature schoolhouse. All right, here's like the mixed metal aisle and the wood aisle, as I like to imagine them. I don't know what that was. A dryer rack of sorts or a display rack. And then the silver aisle right there. Some pots and pans and look, look how sweet. She didn't belong there, so I needed to give her a home. They put together this cute little pastel end cap. And they found some cheap 
tulips on it. I liked those too. They were in my cart for a while, but ended up going back. I've always loved this type of plate, and it was white, so it was on sale. Tons of picture frames. I thought this welcome paddle was really cute. I don't know, maybe I should have gotten that. This I did think was cute, and I liked these minimalist pictures. Not my style at the moment, but I liked the, the vibe. I also liked this, but I don't really like sayings and stuff like that, but I liked the pie. I thought this was adorable, except for the fact that there was a wedding picture and a baby picture. <laughs> but I liked the frame. This I liked too. It's just another glimpse. Some bigger pictures on the wall there. Nicely hung. Little overview. And then over here are where the linens and stuff like that live. I really like these as well. And look at how cute this tiny little dipper crock pot is with the cherries on the bottom. Adorable. It was a little dented in the front, but still so cute. Nice avocado green vintage blender. And this lamp I, I also loved. It was in my cart up until the very end and I ended up putting it back. It was $8. This, terrifying. Animatronic, huge. But this vintage lampshade I also absolutely loved. Super cool. Lots of lamps up here. Some really cool ones. Those long red ones are cool. But I also love that one with the little farm. Oh, we're sideways again. A cute little strawberry tray. And then some more um, larger artwork on the back wall here. They had some, some nice pictures today. Now this whole section caught my eye. I love that little dip set. I loved this garlic thing. Cute little butter dish with the birdhouses on it. Even this I thought was kind of cute. But look at how adorable this deviled egg dish is with the butterflies and the cute chickens again. I love that whole section. Adorable. And then another strawberry cheese plate and a cute mug. Little Easter quilt patchwork mug. And look at this, a bag of vintage troll dolls. Awesome, I used to love the troll dolls. Here's a glimpse of some of the furniture and then of course, all the clothes. All right, we are home with the haul. Not tons of stuff, but definitely some fun things. And we together are excited to share it with you. So that is definitely a really nice store. I love going there. Um, a little bit more expensive than the other stores that I have showed you on my channel so far, but um, very nicely organized and they make it easy to find things, you know, in, oh, we got all sorts of visitors, um, where they might <laughs> be. And she loves the box I brought it home in. So before we do the haul really quick, I wanted to give you an update on my kombucha. Today is Friday evening. I put this, I got this started on a Monday. So on this upcoming Monday, it will be three weeks that this has been fermenting. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the scoby is down there. He's He's been growing some extra layers for sure and some nice bubbles at the top. So I think maybe on Monday or around then, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, into the hall. I, oh, I think he has one of his little, They are just so silly. Okay, <laughs> the haul. I ended up getting this planter. I just thought this was cute. And this was $3.99, but half off since it was white, so I paid $2 for that. I got this little sign that says eggs. I paid 80 cents for this, and I got it because I'm getting the chickens in a few months, and I thought that would just be cute and silly um, for the eggs. 
I'm thinking one of his little mice must be under there again because he is just reaching, reaching, reaching. I'll have to check. <laughs> He loves to play. She just likes to watch. <laughs> okay, back to the haul. I got this dish. I paid $5 for it. Um, and this might sound silly, but I wanted to use it as, as a cat food dish. It's so pretty, and I know some of you might be angry about that, but um, it's raised, which is good because they, they, uh, they say that's good for their health to have a raised dish. And right now they're just kind of eating off of little slow feeder mats. Um, so I think that's adorable. And then I got this other smaller one, which I figured I could use for the same thing. One for Gus, one for Kippy. And that one was $3. So they'll be little high-class kitties. <laughs> all right, you guys know I love a good canister, and you saw all the cute ones at the store. I ended up getting this pig one, a little family of pigs with bandanas. I paid $4. Oh, my gosh. He's got a lot to say. $4 for that. And then I did end up getting these two cat plaques, I guess we could call it. I figured with a little paint update, even right now you kind of feel the vibe. This is kind of like Gus right there. And then this is kind of like Kippy, even though not quite. But I figured with a little updating, maybe they would be reminiscent of my babies. And so I got those because they did remind me of them. And then you saw this cow. She was just sitting in the wrong section, and I, I was drawn to her. I really liked her. She has a cute little bell. She was $3. Oh, these were also $3 each. It looked like they did have a white tag, but they had both been peeled off and re-tagged with yellow, but I won't complain about it. Um, so I got the cute little cow. These I decided to give a try because I know they've been at the thrift store for a while and they were so cheap. They were marked two for $1.99, but since they're white, it was two for a dollar. They're just these little trinket trays. I'm not so sure I like the coloring on them, but I figured I'd give them a try. I have this cute little tulip set. Uh, again, white tags. So that was only a dollar. And then this I also just couldn't pass by. It is a bag of vintage troll dolls. Um, paid $4, so there's two big ones. Um, this little nurse, it's not open, but there's this, this little nurse one and then two other small ones. And this little nurse right here, she has a tag that says um, purchased for brother something in 1962. So these are very, very old. And I used to love the little troll dolls. So I couldn't pass those by. And then I got these two uh, flower decal things that I again just could not pass by. I paid four dollars for them each. They're very big. We got the sunflower and then just the general flowers which kind of look like orchids to me or maybe lilies um, but they're just so pretty. I couldn't pass them by and obviously they are vintage as well um, and that's it. So not a huge haul and I'm going to hopefully go through and try to get some of my living room together this weekend and then donate back to whichever thrift I end up taking it to what I don't utilize in my space. So that's that. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I'll be back soon with more dumpster diving and thrift and food and fun videos. Thanks, guys.